guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Scent Safari. Today we are going to be looking at the house of strange invisible perfumes. Um, I haven't heard a ton about them. I learned about them searching Fragrantica. Uh, I hit them up, asked them for some samples. Same day, messenger comes to my apartment, drops off a bag with these four samples. Now, as far as how Scent Safari works, um, I reach out to a house, you know, usually one I don't have that experience with, uh, that much experience with, usually one that I don't have a bottle from yet in my collection, ask them for some samples, uh, and then I take four, which in this case works out perfectly because they sent me four, I smell them for the first time on camera. But the way I do that is a couple hours prior to shooting, I'll put them on uh, pulse point, and then, you know, five, 10 minutes before shooting, I'll refresh them so I get a good feel of the different uh, stages of a fragrance. Now, this house was one that was started in 2000 by a perfumer named Alexandra. I hope I pronounced this right, uh, Balahudis, Alexandra Balahudis. And the idea was to make high-end fragrances with authentic botanical essences. The perfumer lives in Venice in California, and that is close to where the boutique and workshop are located. So I wanna read you guys some information about the scents from the company's websites. Quote, the perfumes, botanical perfumer Alexandra Balahudis formulates each original fragrance with certified organic, wild-crafted, biodynamic, and hydro-distilled essences. Limited batches are then reverently hand-blended, set into a base of custom-distilled custom Espirito Cognac and aged for a minimum of six months. All strange invisible perfumes are completely botanical and unfiltered. They are decanted and bottled in Venice, California. Hydro distillation is a gentle immersion method that captures the complete aromatic profile of a plant, including the fine aroma chemicals that cannot be captured with steam distillation. Espirit de Cognac is the original perfumer's alcohol used in France from the 16th through 18th century. Strange Invisible Perfumes commissions a 12th generation master distiller in Napa Valley to produce the premium spirit from non-GMO pesticide free grapes. Now you can purchase any of the fragrances that we're gonna talk about at their boutique or online. And the first one we're gonna talk about is this guy right here. And this one is called Peloponnesian. Um, this one has notes of mountain sage, honey, Aegean sea air, lime, orange, and cypress. And the idea here was to create the aroma of ancient Peloponnesus in southern Greece. Uh, a 50 ml of this one uh, is $280. 100 ml is $455. So these are expensive. Or you could do a half ounce for $115. Um, I also appreciate that they give a nice uh, array of options in terms of size. And this is from their Eau de Parfum series. And yeah, this is the first one I smelled. And immediately I was like, Phew. Uh, the quality on these is just bananas. Um, lots of cypress in this one, honey, sage, crisp, clean, but, but strong. Um, I, I get a huge lavender blast from this one as well. Uh, what really stands out to me about this one is the quality. It's really stunning. There is a C note here in the background that's kind of salty and funky. And with that cypress, uh, there's also like a dark lime thing going on. This is one of those fragrances that you really have to study. Uh, because it's just it's so immersive it, it, it reminds me a little bit a little bit of uh, a fragrance called Selmarin by Healy which is a which is a, 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 a um, I don't want to say aquatic because it's not that but it's it's a fragrance supposed to be redolent of the ocean that actually does have the algae and the salt and, and all those sort of things and that's sort of what I pick up with this but this one's a lot deeper because there's the herbs and the honey sweetening it sweetening it up a little bit I love this one like I really like this this is a great first look for me from this house um, uh, if you like sort of um, different ocean scents I would I would give this one a real look so right off the bat nice with this one Next one we're gonna look at is this one called Capricorn. Uh, this is a perfume from their Zodiac series. And while so many of these looked tempting, I had to go with, with Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> Let's look at the description for Capricorn. Quote, ruled by Saturn, Capricorn is famous for a nearly heroic sense of commitment, patience, and drive. 
iris, frankincense, and Tahitian vanilla speak to Capricorn's earthy, sensual side and strong need for stability. Neroli, jasmine, and white cognac invite Capricorn to let go of routine and enjoy the rewards of spontaneity. This one is available in one half ounce size for $125. As again, you can purchase all these from the website. Now this one I also really like. So this does sort of feel like some of the, the qualities that I have. Um, it's assertive and it's aggressive, but it's really refined. Like it's 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 not loud, but it definitely is making itself known. And that's really how I sort of like to be. I don't really like to to be all you know look at me crazy, but like I want I want people to respect me. Uh, and of course I. I do want people to, to, to notice me. Um, you can tell by the way I, I wear, wear fragrances and clothing and all those sort of things. Like, yes, I, I totally admit it. I'm one of those guys that wants to be noticed but doesn't know that you want, doesn't want you to know that he wants to be noticed. Um, and another thing that they, they nailed is I, I'm not spontaneous. I fucking hate spontaneity. I want everything uh, planned out. I have a friend who will tell you that, like, he, if we go to like a movie and, and it starts 15 minutes, or he always jokes around if it's like or at the wrong theater or like the theater down the block, and he told me it's a different one, I freak out. I'm like, well, fuck it, I'm not doing this then. Um, but so, yeah, I'm not spontaneous. But this fragrance is is really good. I really like the vanilla and the incense in this one. I'm a big fan of frankincense. You can tell the frankincense quality here is, is crazy. Uh, the frankincense, vanilla, and iris mixing together is, is really nice. Reminds me a little, little bit of like a really niche version of Dior uh, by Dior. So another one that I'm impressed by. I, I do like Peloponnesian better, uh, I think, but this one's really nice as well. The next two we're gonna look at are from their very high-end reserve series. And there are two fragrances in the series. The first, guys, is this one, and this one is called The Rose with the Broken Neck. Now, this is inspired by the metaphor of the broken rose, and it speaks to the fire and frailty of a broken heart. And the notes on this, you've got organic nutmeg sourced from Sri Lanka, distilled on Maui and aged for 11 years, pure white cognac made with grapes from the cognac region of France, aged in oak casks, Palo Santo, which is known as Holy Wood for its believed mystical properties. Uh, that's sourced from in uh, forest floors in Peru by indigenous tribes and then you've got this hydro distilled organic rose obtained from the first distillation of the flower and Tahitian vanilla now 50 ml of this one is $425 so yes this is an expensive fragrance but if you like boozy rose not girly girl bright rose if you like dark rose then like this is on another level um this really speaks to the quality of the ingredients that this perfumer is using, and this is insane. Uh, I always said the best quality darker rose scent that I have ever smelled is Portrait of a Lady, uh, Portrait of a Lady that uh, Ropion did for uh, addition to Parfum, Frederick Mal. But it definitely has competition. The cognac in the woods with the vanilla and nutmeg sort of play um, on the freshness of the flower. And I totally get the broken neck and the broken heart for that matter. Because when your heart breaks, you want to believe that everything's going to be okay and get better. And that's sort of the freshness and lightness of the rose. But then you're just in so much pain that it hurts to be optimistic. And I think that's where the wood and cognac and spice comes in. Um, it, look, if you like rose, you, you got to try this one. Like, I'm not a huge rose guy. Guy, but even I'm pretty impressed by this one. I like this one a lot. And guys, we're going to finish up with the other scent in the reserve series. That's called Emerald Moss. And in Emerald Moss, we've got Mate, Hydro distilled from the leaves of a southern Brazilian tree, Ginger grown on a family farm in Maui, Mandarin again from a farm in Maui, California Lavender from a farm in Santa Barbara, uh, Kusru, an essential oil distilled from the roots of vetiver plants in India, and that same rose from Rose with the Broken Neck. Price tag here is $425 for 50 ml. So this for me is a super dark green scent. Um, to be honest with you, the, the broken neck, I think, made some more sense to me price-wise. Um, this one might just need to be one that I spend some more time with. My favorite green scent, I really had to, to think this through, is probably Absence by Nasamato. Um, I would call this a, a green scent that's darker. I love the ginger and the lavender. It has a hint of a dandyish vibe, but that's sort of checked by the, the really dark vetiver. Um, this is, again, the quality of these is just like, 
bananas. Like it's as good as any other uh, quality fragrance uh, house I've ever smelled. Um, and I'll tell you so far what I've experienced with these in my very limited time is that like, yo, these last on my skin with booming longevity um, and projection, like this shit lasts. Like I put these on hours ago and like it almost smells like, um, I just put them on. I actually reapplied them in, in, in different spots, but it just it doesn't matter. Like these are these are just bananas. Um, so, I, what's my takeaway with, with Strange Invisible? Well, I think that they should be well more better better known. Um, now, maybe maybe I'm just in my own little Fredcom online world and the blog, and I'm not really out there in the field. And maybe maybe they are getting a lot of respect, but you know, I hadn't heard of them until I checked on Fragrantica, and the quality on these are bananas. Um, and honestly, honestly, minus the reserve line, the prices of these really aren't that insane in terms of what niche fragrances cost. And and, and, and even with the 425, like that's that's the price of a Creed scent. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you go the retail route, and there are definitely fragrances that are there. And don't even get me started on, on Raja Dub. Um, these are really excellent. Uh, it's a house I'm going to come back to. I think I'd like to purchase some samples of their EDPs and, and maybe something from their Zodiac collection. I'm really impressed by by what this house is doing in their direction i like that they have these different collections um i respect the way they source and distill their materials i wish we could have more of that in, in um in perfumery but uh, the blending is impeccable on these and, and yeah i am a fan of strange invisible you should be too go give them a look go give them a, a real look i think you'll be impressed by what you find um and let me know if you if you if you've smelled something by them before if you're gonna go check them out what, what your thoughts are on, on this uh under the radar house that is doing really big things um so that that's how i am with the guys you know what it is we'll have more of these sense of flowers coming up if you have any more questions or there's a house you want to request uh that i cover um Email me at maxmno gmail.com and I'll see you guys this uh, weekend with a review. You know what it is, guys. My name is Maximilian and I'm a snow. I'm going to link to Strange Invisible in the description. Peace.